What's up everyone, it's your boy Mikhail Casanova coming to you with yet another video. In this one I'm going to be doing a review for Snipper Clips for the Nintendo Switch and why if you got $20 to spare, you're going to have a good time with this game and just make sure it does not cause the tension between family members and friends and co-workers or whoever plays this game with you. It will think, it will make you use a great matter in your head, okay? Keep that in mind. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel that we can stay up to grade on all the latest and greatest content that will be produced. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and check out my Patreon channel to support the cause and help this channel grow exponentially. My goal for Patreon is, truthfully, to just be able to come with more content for you guys. And for YouTube, hopefully by the summer I can reach a thousand subscribers and I can do something even more special than what I've been doing. I want to do more giveaways, more shout outs, more collaborations, and you guys are the key to making that happen. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. And you know what? Like I like to say, roll my intro music, because the party's about to get started. Do you want to dance? <laughs> Snipper clips, cut it out. This game has a looking well polished feel in the mobile game. But don't fool yourself. The multiplayer gameplay makes this perfect for Nintendo's on the go console. And the premise is simple and familiar. As me, as four players can work together to solve puzzles by moving objects and hitting buttons. The gimmick, that's not a derogatory term here, is players can clip pieces of each other to custom fit the scenario. The one to two players or one to four players offers three worlds or four worlds of puzzles with 15 in each world. These can be done solo when nobody else is around or you know, a separate set of puzzles exists for two to four players when there aren't enough human players to control all the characters at once. Players are assigned a second controller or second character to switch to on the fly. The ways and means of completing objectives varies considerably with no specific right or wrong way. Well, there is clearly a wrong way, like cutting too much from another character. However, I digress. This game encourages experimentation each and every time to get the best results. And this is where sometimes playing with a loved one, <laughs> such as, you know, a wife or something, can be an issue. Because there will be arguments when things do not go smoothly. And it can be infuriating enough when playing solo and making mistakes, but when with someone else and they keep messing up, then... <laughs> Further into the game, temperatures will definitely start to rise. Like, for instance, getting a basketball through a hoop is fair enough. Easy pickings for most. Carve a curved shape in the head of one character and try to scoop the ball into it. Then jump into the other character, let them shuffle slowly towards the basket, and then gently tilt to the roll the ball through the hoop. Now, think about having to dig up a plant with a very short elastic stem. With Physics being so perfect to the point of driving you nuts. Pull it at the wrong angle and boing! Giggity. It flings back to the start position. Players are pushed in their way of thinking and even with smooth controls. Although the analog stick is nowhere near as accurate as past Nintendo analog sticks go as far as this game is concerned, there will be times when where it all goes wrong and starts afresh, and starting afresh is the only option. In truth, patient levels will be tested. Your patience will constantly be tested. But that's the fun of this game. The interactive elements of Sniffer Clips are its real drawing power. Playing next to a friend makes the proposals easier to accomplish, and two heads usually are better than one. The complexity of the objectives varies considerably, as mentioned, you know, easing players into start with, yet offering sufficient challenge to those for those thinking super clips will be a mere walk in the park. There are also lots of ways to complete each level rather than like uh, think the Scriminoff series. The beauty is that once one character has been cut slightly, what it means is that there's now a brand new tool to cut a unique shape out of the other partner. 
and vice versa. Constantly creating new templates, which is why a handy reset button is imperative to get back to the beginning or a quick undo to get back a step. And sometimes the creations get a little too wild and dead ends reached. There is a lot of thinking outside the box required, getting the old gray matter working, and it's all brought together beautifully by some supremely creative minds. Snipper Clips is pretty approachable, even for those who don't typically play console games. The controls are simple, and only a handful of puzzles require fast reflexes. Also, part of the package is uh, Blitz Mode, and it's three competitive mini games basketball, hockey, more like a tabletop air variety, and a battle mode. Battles were the most fun, testing, tasking players with snipping their opponents to bits until only one remains. That game in particular would benefit from more than two players. Completing all the puzzles in the game won't take terribly long, but Snipper Clips benefits from high replay value. Some puzzles can be solved in plenty of ways and experimentation is fun. What a hidden gem Snipper Clips cut out together has definitely turned out to be. It is definitely a must buy on Nintendo Switch. It's great for showing off not just a fantastic idea of what great puzzles are, but driving home the teamwork element that works so well on Switch thanks to its play anywhere, anytime ethos. Sit with a friend, get family members involved, or even go it alone. Play it in tabletop mode, portable, or even on the big screen. Whatever the case, it all works perfectly. This is going to eat away at the hours without a doubt. So SFB Games and Nintendo, you truly have struck gold with this one. Truthfully, at 20 bucks, Snipper Clips is one of the best values on the Nintendo Switch thus far. So this game gets the casting over seal of approval. So cop this right now if you possibly can. And that wraps up this video review of Snipper Clips. This game is amazing. If you haven't played it and you got a Nintendo Switch, Come up $20 some way and then make sure you get this because it's phenomenal. So, there you go. Hopefully you guys love it as much as I do because it's a great game. And, you know, you get many, many hours of enjoyment out of it. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you ding that bell so anytime there's a new video posted, you will be notified of it. And check out the Patreon channel and support. You know, we always appreciate your support for this channel. Hopefully you can help us grow. You know, anything you do helps because this is all for you guys. And with that being said, we're out. Thank you for watching. Deuces wow. Everybody drinks so me. Everybody in this building drink for free. Give me a whiskey double. A little bit of deck is always trouble. And I'm feeling good. Like the man with only need to prove a reader's wood. Next up, straight to the DJ. Tell him play whatever song she said. Her body is a misdemeanor.